Well, hello guys, and this is Rusty Glove Box here, and I tell you what, what we're going to do today is I'm taking a challenge for one of my YouTube friends, Todd, and uh, he does a lot of wood carving projects, whirly gigs, whatnot, all different kind of thing. Even does a little bit of plastic casting after he's got a, say, a good wood uh, template to work off of. So anyway, he had put a challenge out, and he says, you know, if you've got a wood carving project that you'd like to uh, share, you know, get with it, get out there, and let's make something. So anyway, Todd, this is my attempt to show you what I got going out here in the shop. Well, what I wanted to show you right here, this is some of the tools that would come in handy. You wouldn't have to have these, but, uh, you know, some type of wood glue, this is just your plain schoolhouse white glue, some kind of clamp. Uh, I have just a few wood chisels. Uh, this is a wood carving knife. You wouldn't have to have this, but uh, it's a nice big handle and uh, the blade is a nice quality blade and you can get it really sharp and it holds the edge. I've got several different types of uh, wood chisels for doing different things. But something that uh, you can kind of cover a lot of ground with pretty quick is a little Dremel tool with a little round drum sander. Uh, I know some people don't like using that. They'd rather use these uh, knives and chisels because they like to see the tool marks. But it's just what all you like. And uh, these are just a few of the tools that I use. Well, this is what we're starting with. Uh, this is a piece of basswood. I bought this 20, 25 years ago when I was still doing just a little bit of wood carving. And uh, so anyway, the way I do it is I'll make a template to decide what size of the piece of wood that I need. Well, what I was going to do was just spray just a little bit of contact adhesive on this. And that way uh, I can stick my little paper template to it. Let's see if I can do this right the first time. There we go. We've got that pretty close to the edge, but anyway, I think you get the idea. The reason why I do it this way is uh, so when I cut the shape out with the bandsaw, you know, I've got a pretty good idea on uh, how it's going to go. And what I may do is cut this side out first, and then I will attach this side on there after I've got my shape cut out. Well, here I was able to get the shape cut out, and this is the top. And so you kind of see how that's going to play out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on there. And then that will give me my side profile. And just like I did before, we'll spray some contact cement on here. We've got our shape on there now, and I'll be able to take this to the saw and cut it out. And when we're done, you know, we'll have this shape, and then we'll have this shape. Then I'll, uh, it'll be time to start carving. Well, just got back from the saw, and here we've got our basic shape, the outline on the side, and this is kind of what it looks like on the top. You know, there'll be a lot of shaping. I know right now uh, I haven't used a knife or any chisels on it, but that's that will come later. Um, but I will even use probably a sander on this to actually get some of my shapes. I know you said, well, that looks, that looks okay for a start, but that duck doesn't have a head. But anyway, Here's the head for the duck. I'm gonna do it the same way. And I made it 
big enough to where possibly I could turn the duck's head left or right. Uh, I'll put it on a piece of wood. I've got the side and here's the top. And uh, so it'll look something like that. Well, here's where I'm at next on this. Uh, what I did is I cut this block out the full width of my of my slab of basswood and it was that thick. I knew I didn't want to waste that much wood so I cut it in half and I'll, I'll probably use that on the next next one that I build. But anyway, there's my head of the duck right there. Well, here's what we've done so far and uh, I've got to do some more shaping. Uh, progress is moving pretty good. This basswood is not hard to uh, cut at all. And uh, you just have to kind of be careful so you don't take a big old splinter off. Well, this has got it looking pretty good. Uh, looks like a body of a duck, so I think I'm, I may do a little hand sanding on this and uh, then I'll start working on the head. But uh, I'm pretty pleased with how this looks and it, uh, it's coming out looking like a duck. Well, here we've done a little bit of the laying the feathers out and kind of the shape of the wings here at the back kind of show how the wings are laying in layers uh, kind of did the tail a little something to it i might come up under the bottom here and thin that out some and what i'm going to do pretty quick is i'm going to put the head on We'll glue it on and probably let it dry overnight. Okay, I think that's got it. Well, I came out the, a day later and uh, got the duck out of the clamp. And then I got busy with some sandpaper and around the neck joint, uh, I would roll this sandpaper kind of round pencil shape and I would go in here to get these two edges to uh, match up good and I set the duck's head off just a little to the right and uh, I thought it gave it a little more natural look and I'm gonna have him setting you know kind of like it's a decoy type uh, not some of my best work, but I uh, put some feathers in there. And something that I did like, how it turned out, is how his wings uh, and the tail, the way they overlap. So anyway, we're getting pretty close to being done. Uh, you know, it, it doesn't have to be perfect because uh, Every duck is a little different, even though they're supposed to be a certain type of duck. You know, if it looks like a duck, quacks like a duck, we'll call it a duck. Pretty happy with how everything turned out for not really doing any of this for over 20 years. So anyway, I kind of enjoyed it and uh, I'll probably do a few more of these. Well, here's the different steps that it took for me to get this duck uh, to this stage. And I'm kind of undetermined right now if I'm just gonna stain it or if I would go ahead and paint it. Uh, pretty happy on how it turned out and I, it'll look good on the shelf. It may end up on the shelf here in the shop. I'm not sure how, how that'll go. But uh, anyway, it's been a lot of fun and I kind of took Todd's challenge 
and uh, so I was real happy how this turned out. So as it always, I do appreciate y'all coming by the shop. Y'all stay safe and well. This is Rusty Glove Box, and I'm out of here.